There you are then, our first event is the truck pull. Sixteen men start this competition, all of course hoping to get uh, a foot on the rung of the uh, International Federation of Strength Athletes competitions for this year. And of course there's lots of famous faces amongst that bunch. And we've got some very tough events as well. So there you are then, they are the competitors. And we start with the truck pull, and that of course uh, is ordinarily the, the event we start with. And let me just tell you, it's uh, a distance of 20 metres, the truck weighs 10 tonnes, and the best time wins basically. And you've got a maximum time of 90 seconds to complete the course. So, we're looking for the quickest. First to go is Harry Simonen of Finland. There he is, and of course he'll be wildly cheered on by this uh, partisan crowd. But they're normally very fair to the other competitors as well. So here he goes, then Harry Simonen taking grip. And there goes the whistle, and off he goes. Gets that truck moving, all 10 tons of it to be dragged over 20 metres. <laughs> Harry Simonen. He weighs 135 kilograms himself. He's 185 tall and he's just done that course in 23.28. Well, I've seen it done quicker than that, um, but not too bad. A good start for Finland. Sven Carlsen comes up next, and uh, Sven has got to be one of the uh, strongest men in Europe at the moment, and one of the fancies, I suspect, for this event as well. World's strongest man, third position in 1999 was the best so far that Carlsen's done. My, my, let me just uh, adjust that. In fact, he was runner-up last year, but got to third spot in 1999. Oh, and it just slips there right on the line but gets over, and that's a better time there. 19.56 then for Sven Carlsen, the Norwegian. Tough guy. Well, there's the six-pack. It will soon turn into a one-pack. Next to go then, Jana Vertinen. One of uh, three Finns. And... Uh, Virginen comes here with high hopes of winning this competition. So 10 tons to be pulled 20 meters in as quickly a time as possible. So far to beat 1956 set by Sven Carlsen of Norway. And he's a big lad, isn't he? Virginen is uh, two meters tall, by the way and weighs 140 kilograms. Runner-up in the uh, World's Strongest Man in 1999. And won the Helsinki Grand Prix last year, and this is a good time. Good time here. And he's over the line in... 17.93. That's top spot then for Bertelon here. The local man is on top of the pile at the moment in the first event, and he knows it. And next to go, Magnus Samuelsson, one of our old favourites, of course. The Swede has got a time of 17.93 to beat. Can he do it? Very popular competitor, of course. Completely different approach here. Small, quick steps. And there's the line. And what's he done? Well, he didn't beat the time set by Vertinen, but a pretty respectable time in 19.63. That puts him in third place at the moment. Fleming Rasmussen, another very interesting character from Denmark. And uh, Fleming, always very popular on the tour. And he's 193 tall, weighs 130. Make that 152. And uh, he's the reigning strongest man in Denmark. Comes from Copenhagen. Oh, and once again, a stumble there. And that's the second uh, 
strong man to take a stumble and he doesn't like that in fact a very good time there that puts him in third spot 1808 just knocking Samuelson into fourth and he wasn't happy about that slip so next up in fact last of the truck pullers is uh, Sammy Heinenen and he's looking to beat a time of 17.93 set by his countryman Jana Vertinen so Heinenen our third fin to have a go at the truck pull and a bit of a stuttering start here by Heinenen and uh, they've been finding this surface a bit on the slippery side and as you saw there once again and that's the second slip for Heinenen here up this 20 meter course and that has got to be taken they've got to take some looking at that surface is not nice not for truck pulling well as you saw that the time was 2051 but uh, no doubt about the winner of the first event there Jana Vertinen 1793 picks up the top spot there at 11 points Rasmussen in second place um, the slip might have cost him top spot Sven Carlson in third now the Conan Circle, now you know what the Conan Circle is about as well, I'm sure. You've got to lift this weight, which weighs 320 kilograms, and you've got to walk around as far as you possibly can. And it's all done in degrees. And you walk forward, obviously, and uh, if you go one rotation, it's 360 degrees, and uh, I'm sure you get the point. 720 for two rotations, and of course anything in between it is marked. And first up, of course, is Harry Simonen of Finland. And he's gone past. He's coming to one and a half circles complete. Oh, goodness me, that was hard. That was tough. Well, 615 degrees then set by Harry Simonen. And that's the distance to beat. Next up, our German competitor, Martin Muir, also very popular on the tour. And he's had some success as well as Martin. He's 191 tall, and he weighs 130 kilograms, and uh, last year he was Germany's strongest man, and a finalist in the world's strongest man also of last year, and struggled to get that 320 kilograms up, but has done so, and now he's got to beat 615 degrees set by our Finn, Harry Simonen. And this is not a bad approach, and as you can see there, leaning back very short but deliberate steps here and this must be absolutely rock hard oh and it's gone down but he's done a very good distance there one look at that 810 degrees and that puts him in top spot that's going to be hard to beat so Martin Muir then of Germany has set the pace for everyone to beat and here's Britain's strongest man Bill Pittock and Bill well, he's had uh, mixed results in competition. Oh, and he's rocking very badly. Well, balance, of course, is a, a major factor. Oh, oh, what a shame for Bill Pittock there. And what did he get? Well, what a pity. 155, Bill. Well, he's not the biggest. He's only 130 kilograms, but uh, he's 183 tall. And he comes from Manchester, does Bill, but... Uh, he wasn't happy about that, was he? It started to swing very early on in his walk. Sammy Heinen then next. And uh, Heinen has got a distance of 810 degrees to beat. So Martin Muir of Germany then, still setting the pace here on this, the Conan Circle. And as you can see, it doesn't start to swing for anyone but Bill. Real shame. So Heinenen powers around. Oh, and that's not bad at all. Well, 4.55, almost half the way of uh, the leader at the moment. So Magnus Samuelson then next, taking his uh, chance here. And I tell you what, he's a very consistent competitor, Magnus. He's, uh, he's taken part in most of the uh, strength events over the last few years. Just wonder how worn out he's got from it all. 
So Magnus, of course, from Sweden. He's two metres tall, weighs 145 kilograms. And uh, last year, he got third spot in the World's Strongest Man. And this is pretty good, isn't it? Well, Muir's distance under threat now from Samuelson. Oh, uh, oh and he's, no, he's not quite done it there. 7.65 then. And that's going to be tough to beat. 7.65 in second position then, Samuelson. And now we have Sven Carlsen from Norway. And he's a real strong man. Sven Carlsen, of course, uh, became third in the truck pull. And here he goes. And look at this smooth approach here. This smooth and quick by Carlsen. Very big legs. And 8.10 is the distance he has to beat. And he's just gone past that, I think. Goodness. This is a very strong man. And he's gone into the lead. Oh, he's a big fella. Very strong man indeed. And, oh, well, 955 degrees. That is incredible. And that follows a third spot in the truck pull. And he's got to surely win this event now. What a fantastic distance that was covered by Sven Carlsen. And this Norwegian has set down, thrown down the gauntlet to the Finns. Next up we have the man from Denmark, Fleming Rasmussen. And uh, this man from the beautiful city of Copenhagen. Well, let's just see what he can come up with. 9.55 is the distance to beat. Eight ten, of course, set by Martin Muir. Is in second position at the moment. Samuelson in third with 7.65. So here we are then. This is Fleming Rasmussen of Denmark. He's got it up and it's straight. And off he goes. Oh, and it's been... Oh, what a shame. Well, it's swung again. Well, Bill Putter can know exactly how Rasmussen feels by that. 185. Well, he's got 30 uh, degrees further than Pittock, but, my God, it's what a disappointment there for Rasmussen. So here we are, then. This is Finland's very own Jana Vertonen. And, of course, in our first event, Vertonen ran away with the truck pull with 17.93. He won the event and looking to repeat that here, but he's got a hell of a distance to try and cover. He's got to try and beat 955 degrees set by Sven Carlsen of Norway. Well, let's just see if he can do it. Jana Vertonen. He's two metres tall, weighs 140 kilograms. And uh, is the world's strongest man at the moment. Look at this speed. That seems to be the key, doesn't it? Strength and speed. Fantastic walk, this. And he's almost running around this Conan circle. 9.55 to beat. Oh and, it, oh, oh, and the burn was in. Oh, look at that fantastic distance, though. 800, that puts him in third place. Well, that might be enough to keep him on top of the pile at the end of that uh, second event. We'll see. But certainly the winner, Sven Carlsen of Norway. And, uh, well, in fact, uh, yeah, Carlsen gets up the 11, and Virgin gets nine points because he was in third place there. But yes, they do tie the lead at the moment. Carlsen, Vertonen, level after two events. And of course, we've got five more excruciating events to come. Time then, and uh, this event obviously very, very tough. 132 kilograms in each hand. The distance is 60 meters. The time limit is 90 seconds. Of course, we're looking for the fastest man. First to go, Bill Pittock of England against Fleming Rasmussen. 
And uh, as you can see, Rasmussen, Rasmussen closest to us. Bill, off to a flyer. Absolutely off to a flyer here of the 60-meter course. Turns around and comes back again. And I'll tell you something, this is very good stuff by Bill Pittock. Oh, and uh, poor old uh, Fleming has had it, and so has Bill, but he's got through there. Bill Pittock does it in 28.43. Rasmussen, he copped out at 39.52. There you are. So Pittock then sets a good time. Well done, Bill. Next to go, we have uh, <laughs> nice to see that uh, a mobile forklift takes the weights back. Wolf Zilstra of the uh, Netherlands next to go against Sami Heinonen of Finland. And there may not be much between these two at the finish. Our first look at uh, Wolf Zilstra on the far side in this competition. This is called the Farmer's Walk. 132 kilograms in each hand and uh, Zilstra makes a pretty good start. Heinonen of Finland, of course, buoyed up by the partisan crowd here. So there you are then, three, uh, oh, and did Bill, oh, did Zilstra there catch his foot? I don't think he did. 30-64, though, good time. Doesn't put him in the lead, but it's a pretty respectable time there by Zilstra. 34-37 for Heinonen. Next to go, Zyandrus Zafikas of Lithuania against Harry Simonen of Finland. And uh, there's Zafikas. And they don't know a great deal about Zafikas. Off they go. And uh, good start being made by the Finn. And Simon and in fact, it's uh, Zavikas that set the pace here on the far side. Very good for him. Look at this. Wow, this is quick. This is very quick by Zavikas. And look at that. Goodness me, what's he done it in? 27.37. That's got to put him in the top spot at the moment. Yes, because Bill Pittock's uh, time was 28.43. Simon and does it in 35.98. Wow, I'm very impressed there with Zavikas. And uh, he's the Lithuanian strongest man of last year. And the World Powerlifting Championships, he came third also last year. So he's a good man, he's uh, good with the weights. Samuelson now against Jana Vertonen, Swede against the Finn. And it seems to be the cold countries, isn't it? the northern countries, that uh, excel at these events. I suppose it keeps them warm. So the time to beat then, 27.37. So Verton and then closest to us. Oh, and he's almost running there. So Verton and then, very, very quick this by Jana Verton. And, and oh, well, there's a problem here. And Jamie Reeves there has pointed at uh, Verton for some reason. Don't ask me why. Samuelson looks like he's disappeared off the course. Well, I've got a feeling that Verton did not actually cross that line at the top. And I've got a feeling he's just realised that as well. Oh, what a shame. Well, what's going to happen? Well, it wasn't a great time. Samuelson there, 31-77. But I tell you something, Verton was going like a train. But he's been disqualified. What a shame. So Sven Carlson now in action against Martin Muir. And uh, Carlson, well, if anyone can give any of these athletes a run for their money, it's him. And Martin Muir, there he is, going well at the moment. And there's not much in it. Carlson just in front, probably about a metre. Very solid performer, Carlson on the right and that's pretty good isn't it what's he done there 27 49 oh goodness me six hundredths of a second outside 
the time set by Zabikas of Lithuania. Next up, though, the hero, Jana Vertelin. And uh, he's going to go on his own. No one to go against Vertelin here. And, of course, the time to beat 27-37. And, uh, well, they were sharp-eyed, the officials, because they did spot Jana Vertelin, the Finn, and that would, not been, that would have been a very unpopular disqualification of Vertelin. But here we go, this is uh, the replay, and he gets a second chance, and this time he goes over the mark, and he's very, very quick. I mean, who'd want to do this twice in a row? And he is. This is very quick by Vertinen. The Finn gets a second chance at the farmer's walk. Who'd want it? Not me. Oh, and he's done it. Look at that. Oh, goodness. And not only that, he set the fastest time, 25.8. He almost threw those weights over the line, didn't he, at the end? Well, look at that. Jana Versen gets back in and scores 11 points. Zavik has a very good day with 10. Overall now, Finland's Jana Versen with 31, two points in front of... Our fourth event, uh, fourth event then features the deadlift, and unusually, it's a boat. They've got a lift. This boat must be lifted as many times as they possibly can. It goes on repetitions. It weighs 300 kilograms. Got 60 seconds to do as many repetitions as possible. This is the fourth event. Straps are allowed. First to go then, the Dane, Fleming Rasmussen. And uh, be interesting to see how he copes here. He's not had the greatest competition so far. Remember the Conan circle? He collapsed, or it collapsed on him. So that's one straight lift for Rasmussen. Up again. That's two. Oh, and, well, he's done two and doesn't want to do any more. Well, you never know, of course, what uh, physical injuries that these guys come in with, but uh, he's obviously suffering from something. So two lifts then for Rasmussen. This is uh, Harry Simonen of Finland. And I tell you something, home advantage really does give you a massive boost. Bit of music, of course, playing in the background and uh, the crowd clapping away. It can't... Uh, help but inspire you so the wraps then put on and Harry Simonen of Finden succeeds with his first lift that's two well he's already beaten Rasmussen and this is pretty good going four now for Simonen into his fifth this is good lifting. 300 kilograms, remember, this boat weighs. And that is six deadlifts. Will he do another? He will. Locks out seven lifts then. Very, very good there. 2,100 kilograms lifted by Harry Simonen in that attempt. So, seven lifts. Very impressive. Next up, Sami Heinonen. And he's also, of course, a Finn. And looking to beat seven deadlifts. The target set by his countryman, Simonen. So that's one. Three. Is that five? Seven to beat. Six. Well, looks like he's enjoying himself out there. Oh, he's had enough. I don't blame him either. Six then by Sammy Heinonen. And uh, that's one behind Simonen. 
Next up, Magnus Samuelsson of Sweden. And uh, as I said before, he's been the most consistent performer. And uh, Magnus, world's strongest man, third spot last year. But he was the world's strongest man in 1997. Comes from Stockholm, two meters tall, weighs 145 kilograms. It's about 300 pounds, I suppose. So that's one. Still, the number to beat is seven, set by Harry Simonen. Well, I've got to say that Simonen doesn't look too comfortable out there at the moment. Not at all. That's three. And you don't often see Samuelson struggling like this. And he is struggling, isn't he? This is tough for Samuelson. That's four. 20 seconds to go. Don't forget they've got a limit of 60 seconds. Uh, oh, well, he's not going to do it. Well, that's very unusual to see Samuelson stop at four on the deadlift. Very strange. So there must be something wrong with him, I suggest. So next up, then, our Dutchman, Wout Zilstra. And Wout, of course, is uh, best position in the world's strongest man was third in 1998 and he's 196 tall weighs 137 and of course he's from Amsterdam one of my favorite cities uh, well seven to beat that's three I think and uh, Jamie is there our referee just reminding Zilstra that the weight must not be dropped it must be lowered And this is very, very good by Wood Zilstra. Seven. And he's equaled the best so far. And oh, look at this, he's going to beat it. That's eight by Zilstra. And that puts him in the lead. He knocks Harry Simonen into second place. And he's delighted with that. Just a shame that no one in the world understands Dutch except the Dutch I'm joking of course next up Martin Muir of Germany and uh, well he's got a new target to beat now eight set by the man who just preceded him Wout Zilstra of the Netherlands and Martin of course a very strong man and taking part more and more in these competitions He's obviously Germany's strongest man and got to the final of the World's Strongest Man Championships last year. Comes from München or Munich. Three, an entirely different approach here. Bit of speed there being injected by Muir. Four. Eight to beat. Five. Six, and very little rest between lifts here for Martin. Seven. This to equal the best eight, he's done it. This to beat it. But 20 seconds to go. One more lift and he's in front. And he is in front, I think. Excellent, look at that, Martin Muir does nine lifts, that's incredible. Well done, Martin. So he's in the lead then. Well, I, if anyone could beat nine, I'd be amazed. That takes a great deal of speed and power. Now, Bill Pittock from Manchester. Let's see how he gets on here. He's not had the greatest competition so far. Very unlucky, of course, in the Conan Circle. And I tell you what, he's done a very good start here. That's three for Bill. Four. And, of course, he's looking to beat nine. <laughs> Cheeky smile on the face there. And that is six, and he's going very well. 
seven. And of course, not all events suit all athletes. That's incredible. It's eight now, surely. Eight deadlifts here by Bill Pittock. Is he going to get it up? I don't think he... Oh, he's so... Oh, what a shame for Bill there. Almost equaled the top spot. Eight very, very good deadlifts, though, for Bill Pittock. And just an inch away from getting his ninth. Well done, Bill. Well, I suppose if anyone's going to give uh, Martin Muir or any of these uh, top guys a run for their money, it's going to be this man, isn't it? Sven Carlson. And, uh, well, still to beat that nine. That looks a very tough target. And I imagine a win here for Carlson would put him... Well, it wouldn't actually put him in top spot, if you remember rightly. Um, Jana Vertinen, the Finn who was in the lead... Um, was given the chance to redo his farmer's walk and he did it in record time. And this looks very good for Carlson. And Carlson even holding that deadlift longer than he was uh, strictly entitled to. Is that eight? Unreal. Nine for Sven Carlson. That is incredible. And he's equaled the best. Come on. Oh, what a shame for Sven Carlson. But my goodness, he equals the top position there. Nine deadlifts to share top spot with the German Martin Muir. Wow. That's good going. Now, of course, the time will be taken into account here. But still to go, we have... Another Finnish hero, the man who uh, leads the pack at the moment. This is Jana Vertinen, and he's got nine to beat. Not even Vertinen can do that, surely. It's a real tough target. And they do pick up the odd uh, abrasion, as I'm sure you've noticed. But of course, most of the damage that's sustained by these guys is internally. So here we are then, Sven... Carlson's uh, nine to beat. In fact, uh, Sven Carlson and Martin Muir. So, Jana Vertinen just preparing himself to lift. Trying to get himself psyched up. He's already put a great deal into this competition. Which is why, of course, he's leading at the moment. Here we go. One. 300 kilograms of weight. Vertinen, Vertinen, two metres tall, he weighs 140. Um, I've no, I, I, I suspect it's slightly easier for the shorter men. Is that four, I think. Doesn't look particularly comfortable out there. Oh, and that's a real struggle now. That's a big, oh, and he's had enough. So Jana Vertinen then does five. It's not bad. But it ain't good. So the lead then shared by Muir and Carlson at nine each. And uh, I imagine they'll go to a count back on time to decide the winner. And your guess is as good as mine, to be honest. Well, if, well they share it. There are ten and a half points each. Nine lifts, very, very decent. And Carlson now in the lead. And he's knocked the Finn into second position with a four and a half point lead. And once again, a chance to relive that painful moment for Carlson as he extended his arms and back. Well, next up, we have the loading event. And uh, you've all seen this before, of course. Let me just remind you of what it uh, entails. Four boxes, they each weigh 100 kilograms and they've got to be loaded onto a height of 1 meter 20 centimeters, 1.2 meters. Um, and they're six meters away from the start point. So there you have it. The maximum time, of course, to do this is 1 minute 30 seconds. 
and uh, they go against each other of course and the first pair are Magnus Samuelsson and uh, Femi Rasmussen and as you can see Samuelsson of Sweden is struggling he uh, he had a problem with the deadlift and he's certainly got a problem here this is not the kind of time you'd expect Samuelsson to set an event like this Fleming Rasmussen finished in 27.7 and we see here Samuelsson possibly paying the price for being such a high-class competitor for so long and well he's finished way way below expectations there one minute and three seconds and that's a shame for him but 27.7 for Rasmussen next up Sammy Heinonen against Jana Vertonen, two fins against each other and this should be fireworks so Vertonen looking to regain the top spot from Carlson and against him Sammy Heinonen his countryman oh and look at this well Heinonen beginning to struggle already Vertonen's got two up and each weighs 100 kilograms that's all that's about 14 stone isn't it just over I think and this is very good look at that well that's 28 point yet yeah, 28.1 by Jana Burton it's not going to put him in first place because that's uh, already been set and uh, poor old Heinen and really struggling here yes 27.7 set by Fleming Rasmussen and Sammy Heinen are beginning to really struggle here and they're awkwardly huge aren't they and uh, well Heinen's going to finish the course anyway in the allotted time 90 seconds I think or will he well obviously not well that's a shame so he does three boxes then in one minute 15 seconds so 75 seconds there for Heinonen he won't be happy with that next to go Harry Simonen of Finland in action here against uh, Zadrunda Savikas of Lithuania who was it so impressive earlier on and uh, this is pretty good so far and you remember rightly that to the farmers walk um, Zavikas was very impressive but uh, he was eclipsed and this is good well Harry Simonen of Finland does it in 31.75 and Zavikas 36.86 and uh, he's a man we haven't seen before of course on the tour but uh, he'll do well but here's the major threat to Jana Vertsen and this is Sven Carlsen and he's up against Martin Muir of Germany you're first up and what has the exertion done to Carlson has he got much left Muir flying here Martin Muir absolutely belting this course last one this is good this is very good how good very good indeed top position then for Martin Muir 26.13 Carlson struggling He's going to be in the points, of course, but I just wonder if he's got enough. 37.48. Wow, that's uh, about 11 seconds slower than Martin Muir. But more importantly, it's about nine seconds slower than Jana Vertonen. There you are. Vertonen gets nine points there. Carlsen only six, but he's still in the lead, I think, by about one and a half. Yes, he is. Sven Carlsen still in the lead by one and a half points here. And we have got two events to come, the Crucifix and the Wheelbarrow. Penultimate event then, the Crucifix, and this is absolutely rock hard. 25 kilograms, 12 and a half kilograms in each hand, have to be suspended out by the side with locked arms. And of course, the man who holds them up the longest wins. First to go, Magnus Samuelsson against Wout Zilstra. And uh, 
Samuelson, of course, a past master at this event. Zilstra, though, has done pretty well. And of course, the first sign is the twitch. And Samuelson there. And uh, Zilstra both screaming, trying to keep each other going. Or themselves going. Oh, and Zilstra's gone. What a shame for him. But Samuelson is still there. Samuelson, absolutely incredible athlete. As I say, I've got a feeling he might just have gone over the top slightly. And this is very good by him. Oh, well done. So there you are then. I'm just trying to think what he did. Yes, Samuelson, 57.97. Very good. Zilstra, 43.8. Next up, Zadrunda Zavikas in action here against Sven Carlsen. And Zavikas, of course, in Lithuania. And at the time to beat 57.97 set by Samuelson. And, well, Carlsen has got his eye on extending his lead here over Jana Vertelen. And he's such a tough man because the pain is already well set in here for Carlson. His body's under severe strain and he's resisting the temptation to drop these weights. And he can still talk as well. What an incredible athlete. And uh, look at uh, Zavikas there. Absolutely rock solid, isn't he? And Carlson trying to convince himself he has no problems. Incredible time. Oh, look at that. Well, that's fantastic. Zavikas there, 1 minute, 2 seconds, 0.37. And Carlson in the lead, 103.26. Unreal. And he really has put the pressure on Vertinen here. And Vertinen goes against Harry Simonen. And uh, Simonen, also from Finland. Here's Jana Vertinen. Trying to remain cool under pressure, and believe me, he's under severe pressure here. But uh, Harry Simonen, well, he's looking pretty solid too. And they're looking to go over the minute mark. And both of these fins, of course. Really, oh, what a shame there for Simon and 50.51, not bad. But Vertinen continues. Oh, what a shame. 57.9. Well, the best, well, in fact, he's not even put him second to Carlson. Carlson's out in front. Second place at the moment is, I think, Samuelson at 57. No, it's uh, Zavikas, sorry. Now, here we go. Fleming Rasmussen against Martin Muir, and Martin Muir so far has been very impressive in a couple of events. Rasmussen has been slightly disappointing in a couple as well. So Germany against Denmark. Oh, and what a shame. Well, Martin Muir there goes at 33.59, and that's quite an early drop for him. But uh, Rasmussen from Copenhagen is still going. And if you can only try and put yourselves in their position and feel how they feel, not that you'd want to. This is a very good time now by Rasmussen. And he's threatening Sven Carlsen and looks pretty comfortable. Oh, he's gone. Oh, oh, look at that. About one, no, about half a second less than Carlsen managed. 102.89. Carlsen was 103.26. Wow. Carlsen picks up the 11. Rasmussen once again doing well here. 10 points there. Zabigas again in the major points as well. But Carlsen, as you can see, has extended his lead now. Five and a half points in front of Jana Vertinen, and that's got to mean that unless Vertinen hits top spot next time and uh, Carlsen does nothing, 
who can stop Carlson winning this? Well, the last event is the wheelbarrow. The distance of 20 meters, they've got 90 seconds to do it in. And uh, the weight is 1,100 kilograms. Fastest man wins. First to go, Fleming Rasmussen against Magnus Samuelsson. And Samuelsson, good start here, very solid man, isn't he? This is a good time as well by, by Samuelsson there. 14.15, 14.73 by Rasmussen. Very good times by both men. Next to go, Martin Muir against Zadrunda Zavikas from Lithuania, the German. There he is. And uh, here they go, run round to the handles. Up it goes. Off they go. Well, a fairly slow pick up there by both men. And well, that's not bad, not bad, but they've both fallen short. They tried to sort of throw that over the line, but it didn't work. 18.46 for Muir. And what is it for Zavikas? 18.78. So Zavikas in fourth place then at the moment. But in the lead is Magnus Samuelsson of Sweden. Next to go, Jana Vertinen, who really needs a big one here. And he's up against the man who's in top spot at the moment. This is Sven Carlsen. 14-15 to beat. Vertinen and Carlsen. Carlsen gets off quickly. Well, Vertinen catches him and gets over the line. And Carlsen has fallen short by about a foot, but then gets there. Ooh, well, that's my... Well, I just wonder how costly that's going to be for Sven Carlsen. 18.02 for Carlsen, 14.59. Well, there you are. Samuelsson won it, Vertinen second. And Carlsen down there in fifth or sixth place. Now, what's that done to the scores? Oh, what is... Look at that! Carlsen wins by half a point. An incredible finish. Right down to the wire. Beats Jana Vertinen into second place. And they are miles ahead of everybody else. The pack headed by Magnus Samuelsson. So Jana Vertinen then loses by one single measly half a point and he'll be very disappointed with that but what a man to be beaten by the Norwegian Sven Carlsen here he comes wow what an athlete this guy is incredible isn't it unreal so Carlsen then 61 and a half points Vertinen 61 points Samuelsson 47 joint third with Magnus uh, sorry with Zavikas uh, Zaidrundas Fleming Rasmussen, Martin Muir, or should I say Martin Muir, then Rasmussen, then Wout Zilstra, Harry Simonen, Bill Pittock, Sammy Heinen, and 10th, uh, but by no means disgraced, the pole, Pexa, with 13 points. But there he is, no doubt about the winner, Sven Carlsen, and he looks absolutely astonishing, very strong man, in an excellent mood, out to win every event he tackled. And uh, Jana Vertinen, well, I'm sure he's very happy for Carlsen, but very disappointed that he couldn't win this event on home soil. And home advantage, always a major, major boost. And of course, uh, if this event, event went to Norway, I wouldn't imagine that Carlsen for a second would consider himself anything but a winner. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the show. My name's Steve Holdsworth, and we look forward, of course, to your attention here for loads more strength events on British Eurosport in the very near future. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. See you very soon, and we'll leave you with first and second to hug and commiserate and congratulate. Goodbye.